how to connect postgresql to asp.net mvc file first of all open your visual studio 2017 okay loading few minutes okay now create a new project go to file click on new then project click on project okay a visual studio uh, so create a new project uh, like uh, uh, easy Select the MVC option. Okay. Now, if you first of all go to tool menu, tool menu, click on click on not get package manager and package manage console okay now type uh, first install packaging now the right mouse okay. install installation packaging npg npg sql and press enter key oh after successful install then uh, again type another command oh okay now type your version uh, your requirement is uh, uh, asp.net dot net framework now press again enter okay now and finally right mouse click that copy and right mouse paste sometime not completely uh, sometimes so of your, your error then that time you can use change of version this version this version version 2.20 okay <coughs> few minutes left so then after completed open your configuration file okay now first of all open your postgreSQL uh, easy admin type password username is a post gray sql now okay and then i'll i, I have already okay connection this is connection so some right mouse that copy type configuration configuration section then control b okay now this is the username this is provider um, name default connection is string username user my username is postgres and password is just admin and another database your database name um, uh, like uh, <coughs> uh, mm, post it okay this is database name uh, lock in uh, google underscore d automatically uh, create a database google db uh, now and 
then everything is okay just control shift control yes now right mouse click model then create right mouse and create a new item okay, i have already created uh, like product okay type uh, ah sorry 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 uh, okay sorry right mouse add click on new item now type of class name class model name product now type of just this, this is property field name like um, another connection okay pg db connection another class right mouse click okay new item new model classes instant class and then configuration class now i have already okay now type in inherit db cons db say column db con okay so system data context so uh, data entities and another system data entities ah, now create a configuration okay. mm. don't forget this is a object and now this is a connection and this name is very important first of all you can go to config file and then now if type in ram sam hari gita said then also type here ram sam hari gita said no problem <coughs> another okay now go to controller uh, home controller already built it create a object controller no problem and now just click on text no and now type model tv blah 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 like this PG admin context model connection model now then another type it's a constructor this is constructor no problem and now type this one I have already done and another another now okay now type this After the computer, suppose you uh, auto uh, automatically created a, a Google DB. So I have the two three database now. First of all, open your RAM. Hmm, okay, internet not access. Can't uh, because the user configuration data page is invalid. Hmm. Blah 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 database configuration. Uh, okay.
Upload a few minutes. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, done. Everything's perfect. Okay, refresh. Oh, created Google DB and now a schema and the table table name public to public and table table where is table okay if this okay google db on the squad the blah 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 and now um, okay no problem thank you thank you watching on my youtube channel and then subscribe